Thank you for having me, Linda. Well, 2021 and 2020 is a really big year for us with, at Danziger. And um, we have quite a few new crops that we're launching, including seven new series and two new programs. So we have a lot that we um, uh, have, have come, are coming out with this year. But what I'm focusing on with the Florida flower trials are the ones that we think are really important for this market. So the things that are heat tolerant and things that are going to be able to perform in the humidity that you have issues with in Florida. The first one up is the Angelonia. Angelonia is a very popular item in the landscape and one of the things that we focus on at Danziger is not just uh, breeding for a pretty flower, but we're always breeding for habit as well. And one of the challenges with Angelonia has been that a lot of them get tall and then they fall over and split in the middle. So the first thing we bred for and selected for was a, a mounded habit that stays nice and tight and doesn't split in the middle. And then the big series, which is Alonia Big, uh, has, has longer uh, flower spikes, so it gets a little bit of height to it and gives you a lot of show. We have two bicolors for 21 that we're launching. The first one is bicolor pink and the other one is by color purple, and they're very well matched. They look beautiful combined together in the landscape or in a container, and um, just really perform really well in the heat. And the big by color pink is actually a very unique color. Not, the other thing that we really uh, are um, like to talk about with our Angelonias is that uh, sometimes they're a challenge to get into a smaller pot and to get a bloom on them for a peak spring season. Ours will bloom early enough for any market, which means that you can finish them in a small container and have a saleable product during peak season when all your customers are ready to buy. So that's also a key feature of our series. Then within the lineup, these are the other colors we have that match. And then within the regular Alonia, these are a small, have a smaller stature and a really large showy bloom. New for 21 is Alonia Dark Lavender, and you can see this is a really nice, very popular kind of pinkish purpley color. The, the interesting thing here is we still have that nice mounted habit, but the, the whole body of the plant stays a lot tighter. You can see this picture over here on the right is in some trials down in Miami, and uh, we look forward to seeing how they finish out in Orlando. Same thing here, the quartz, uh, these are perfectly suited for quartz. Okay, one uh, new item, this is a brand new series for us in 2021. This is a New Guinea Impatience, which means it's made for shade and it is truly has a trailing habit. One of the challenges for uh, when you're looking for a premium item for the shade is that there's just not a lot of choices. And within New Guineas, people tend to try and put them in a basket even though they have more of an upright habit. And they look okay in the beginning, but when they start to grow, you get these just this basket full of green sticks with blooms on the top. And it's not a very appealing item after it's been growing for a little while. Harmony Colorfall is our best-selling Harmony Genetics, but they have we've selected them for the trailing type. And that means they're truly going to stay like a mounded ball of color, and they're going to continue to grow over the sides of the, of the container. They truly have a, a trailing habit. Uh, we've got four new colors, oh, four colors in this new series for the first year light coral, pink, white, and then my favorite is the neon red. And it's, when you see it in the sun, it is just gorgeous. It's bright red, but it has kind of an iridescent undertone. So it almost sparkles, it's my favorite one. Here's uh, uh, the other thing about Harmony Colorfall is um, it's, gonna, it's gonna have a really large flower to it, like a true New Guinea. And then our next series, uh, we have a hybrid impatience. This is an interspecific impatience that we're calling Soluna. This is also a brand new series. And the features of Soluna is that it does well in sun or shade. So it is truly a full all purpose uh, impatience. It'll give you lots of color. It'll perform just as well in deep shade as it will in full sun. And in full sun, it will not bleach out like some other hybrid impatience sometimes are challenged with. But they have been selected also for uniformity and to be a compact habit. So when you look at them across all four colors in the greenhouse, they're all gonna be very similar in habit, 
which means the greenhouse uh, does the greenhouse grower doesn't have to manipulate them with PGRs or different kinds of fertility in order to get a uniform crop. They truly are uniform. These were selected for um, quart production. That's really where they're going to be ideal. They will fill a larger container, like a six inch, uh, really beautifully, and will continue to grow in the garden. So for the first year, we have candy apple, dark lavender, tropical punch, and pink. Verbena Vanessa is our series of verbenas, and these have a really interesting story. The Vanessas um, are, come out of a really strong breeding program we've been working on for several years. Seven, eight years ago, all of the verbenas in the market really were not good. They had lots of challenges with cycling out of color. They always got powdery mildew. And they just the whole category was starting to die because growers just didn't like using them because of all the problems. So we went back and we started from scratch and selected really hard for powdery mildew tolerance. So that's the first challenge. And if it got powdery mildew anywhere that we trialed it, anywhere in the world, it was out. And then the second thing we did was we looked at the bloom cycling and we made sure that there are always buds coming up behind the first set of blooms so that it was continually continuously in color so out of that breeding we got the vanessa series this new bicolor indigo is a new bicolor we're launching for 21 very beautiful uh just but you can tell it still has a really nice habit it doesn't get those big arms on it like some of the uh the, the verbenas in the past it has a nice habit but it is vigorous enough that it will do well in containers and, um, and will we'll play well with other, other genetics like petunias and calibrachoas and combos. And then these are some other Vanessa colors that are in the market. Uh, another one new for this year is red and, opt and then we have optic lavender, which is in the compact Vanessa series. And it's just a little bit tidier, a little bit tighter. It's still gonna fill uh, a, a larger pot, but it is ideal for people that wanna start uh, maybe production in quarts instead of gallon. That's all I have. I'm looking forward to seeing how everything finishes out in the gardens and uh, I will talk to you guys in May.